am starting off with my Bare Minerals Primetime Primer in the neutralizing shade and I'm just applying this all over my skin for a base for the foundation. And the foundation I'm using today is my favorite Nars Sheer Glow Foundation and I'm buffing this in using a Morphe G6 brush I believe. Um, it's just a small buffing brush and I like to stipple it on first and then go ahead and buff it out. So just applying that all over my skin. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm first taking Max Painterly Paint Pot to prime my lids and get rid of any discoloration and then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow. This whole look is Makeup Geek based so um, I probably won't keep saying Makeup Geek but I'm just buffing this colour all into the crease. Then I'm taking the shade Chicka D, which is like a orangey, yellowy kind of shade. I really love it. And I'm just doing the exact same thing, just buffing this into the crease um, and really working it all the way into the sort of the inner corner. The next shade I'm taking is called Morocco and it is this beautiful burnt orange like kind of rust shade. And I'm just using a MAC 217 brush to buff this into the outer corner and then bring it in through the crease. I'm really focusing, the, focusing this on the outer corner first and then dragging the excess product into the crease um, and applying some sort of so it goes all the way into the crease. I'm really liking that look at the moment. Then I'm taking the shade Poppy which is a brighter kind of orange shade and just pretty much layering up these colors. I just wanted it to be nice and dimensional and have lots of different oranges and reds going on. Then I'm just buffing out the product again and then I'm going in with the shade Mango Tango. I feel like I'm t so tongue tied. And I'm just applying this shade all over the lid um, just with a Real Techniques brush. And then I decided I wanted the look to be a bit shimmery so I took Makeup Geek Cosmopolitan eyeshadow and just sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus and just applied this onto the lid just to give it a bit of a shine and just make it stand out a little bit more. Then to add some depth into the outer corner, I'm just using Americano and I'm just taking this Urban Decay buffing brush. It's one that came I think in the Naked 2 or 3 um, and I'm just applying this just to add some definition on the outer corner and add a little bit of brown. And then I'm going in with Corrupt which is a black shade and I'm just using this on a flat definer brush and I'm pushing this right into my lash line just to um, give me something to stick my false lashes onto and add a bit more definition. Then I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer and I'm using this as my brow bone highlight and I do apply a bit to my inner corners um, but I go back in later and apply a little bit more anyway so yes. Then I'm just tight lining using a Rimmel Black Eyeliner and curling my lashes, applying a coat of mascara. This one's the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. Um, I absolutely love this mascara so much. And then I'm applying my Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. I literally put these on the wrong eyes, guys. Please ignore that. Moving back onto the face, I'm using this Bourjois, I think it's the bronzing primer um, but I just use it as a cream bronzer so I'm applying it using a flat foundation brush just to the outer perimeters of my face and then I'm going to go in with an exo beauty round top face brush and just buff everything in and I just love how natural and bronzed this makes your skin look I just really love it and it smells super good as well then to conceal I'm using LA girl pro concealer in ivory I believe light ivory I'll have everything listed down below if I can't remember it and I'm just highlighting my face and um, taking that underneath the contour just to sharpen it up a bit and then I'm using the exo beauty tapered face kabuki brush um, and just tapping all of this into the skin then to add a little bit of a cream highlighter I'm using this cryolan um, I forget what it's called, it's in the shade Cashmere, it's basically just a cream highlighter so I'm just applying this to all the high points of my face um, just to give me a nice dewy look but I did want to set it with a powder highlight so I took MAC Soft and Gentle and just basically set the cream highlight with the powder highlight to be a highlighter disco ball um, and I'm just using a Real Techniques setting brush to apply this. Then going in with MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deepest, I'm just using this on a fluffy duo fiber brush just to bronze up my skin and sort of set the cream contour. 
And then going in with the Balm Hot Mama Blush, I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending it back towards my hairline. Then I'm just going to set everything using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking Chickadee once again and just buffing this right underneath the eyes and then going back in with the Poppy shade and just buffing this into the sort of the outer third of the lower lash line. Then I just took a really fluffy brush with no product on it just to buff these shades together and then I took my definer brush with no excess product just using whatever was left from the black eyeshadow just to thicken up the lash line and applying some lower lash mascara and I realized I forgot to set my under eyes so I'm just taking the Face of Australia loose translucent powder and just setting where I concealed. Then for lip colour I'm using the Rimmel Addiction Lip Liner which is one of my favourite nude shades. So I'm just completely outlining my lips and then I'm going to fill them in using Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in Echo Park. And I love this shade so much. And after that the look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.